He and a gentle pardoner rode together. A bird from Charing Cross of the same feather, just back from visiting the court of Rome. He loudly sang, Come hither, love, come home. The summoner sang deep seconds to this song. No trumpet ever sounded half so strong. This pardoner had hair as yellow as wax, hanging down smoothly like a hank of flax. In driblets fell his locks behind his head, down to his shoulders, which they overspread. Thinly they fell, like rat-tails, one by one. He wore no hood upon his head, for fun. The hood inside his wallet had been stowed. He aimed at riding in the latest mode, but for a little cap his head was bare, and he had bulging eyeballs like a hare. He'd sewed a holy relic on his cap. His wallet lay before him on his lap, brimful of pardons come from Rome, all hot. He had the same small voice a goat has got. His chin no beard had harboured, nor would harbour. Smoother than ever chin was left by barber. I judge he was a gelding, or a mare. As to his trade, from Berwick down to Ware, there was no partner of equal grace, for in his trunk he had a pillowcase which he asserted was Our Lady's veil. He said he had a gobbet of the sail St. Peter had the time when he made bold to walk the waves till Jesu Christ took hold. He had a cross of metal set with stones and in a glass a rubble of pig's bones. And with these relics, any time he found some poor up-country parson to astound, in one short day, in money down, he drew more than the parson in a month or two. And by his flatteries and prevarication, made monkeys of the priest and congregation. But still to do him justice, first and last, in church he was a noble ecclesiast. How well he read a lesson or told a story, but best of all he sang an offertory, for well he knew that when that song was sung he'd have to preach and tune his honey tongue, and well he could, win silver from the crowd. That's why he sang so merrily and loud. <laughs>